Okay, good morning po sa ating lahat. And bago po tayo mag-umpisa, sinalagin po natin yung presence ng ating General Secretary ng Filipino Community Society, Madam Mercedes Tantalwan. Around the world. Maraming salamat po ma'am for giving us time to participate in this tongan mundo inducting of new sets of officers. Bago po tayo mag-umpisa, let me share a few things about Tong El Mudo. Ay, may mask. Siksik. Suksok. Suksok gamay. Okay, Tong El Mudo is a unified martial arts po. It consists of linear and secular movements. And it is open to all various kinds of martial arts like Taekwondo, Aikido, Muay Thai, Arnis, like that. So, Tong El Mudo motto is Advancing Bravely Forward with... Ano? As practitioner, alam niya ba? Discipline. So, our motto is Advancing Bravely Forward with Discipline. So, mayroon pong sinabi ng isang best-known martial artist na si Dan Inosanto. Kilala niyo siya? Okay. So, the practice of a martial art should be a practice of love, for the preservation of life, for the preservation of body, and for the preservation of family and friends. Amen? Okay. So now, let's proceed to our program. To begin, may I ask our Vice President Our Vice President External, Mr. Ronald Alan Perez for the opening prayer. For the opening remarks, let us all welcome our very own heartwarming master, <laughs> our very supportive master, generous, kind, handsome, and bad. Sorry. Very young, very young master, Master Jeffrey Birdie. <laughs> very young. Wala pang book eh. Welcome po lahat. Una, at salamat kay Ma'am Mercy to be with us. Very surprising itong induction natin kasi ito is in here ang reparasyon. And then, here you are. Welcome po. Mula ka pari tayo hanggang gulo. Sa round the world tayo sa Taiwan. Ito po. Welcome at salamat sa pagdating. Hindi ko na isa-isahin ni kayo lahat. Mabuhay. Thank you so much, Master Jeff, for that very charming message. Charming, charming, charming. Char 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 <laughs> okay, to begin our oath-taking ceremony, handa na ba tayo? May I ask our inducting officer, Type B Telcom Secretary General and President of OFW Family Club, Madam Mercy Gita Kuan. Siya ng certificate po natin. And as I call your name, lahat po ng newly elected officers, pumunta po sa harap. And then, i-receive nyo po yung certificate, both hands. And then, picture po. Meron po. Maharap po. Doon po sa harap. Para ano. Pagka-receive po nung ano, no? Picture po. Tapos, Okay. So, 
the Tong Ed Mudo New Set of Officers Taiwan Chapter. To begin with, let us call our new chairman, Tong Ed Mudo, no other than Master Frederick M. Yen. Uh, today is a very important event for Tongil Modo. Overseas Filipino Workers Tongil Modo Martial Arts Association Incorporation Taiwan Chapter. It's a very important day, November 21, 2021. This is not just 
uh, oh, na after this, you will not take responsibility. But this is the day that you will uh, oh, na mag-take responsibility kayo for the sake of your organization. So we will start with it. World Token Code of Federation, Taiwan Oak of Office, I mention your name. Having elected us, your position. Of, tong, of that World Tongil Modo Federation Taiwan. To solemnly, solemnly swear to abide by and uphold the ideals and purposes of the association to perform my duties to the best of my abilities and capacities without fear or favor with the aim in view of furthering the mission of this organization and advancing the interests of the immediate communities to which it is dedicated and to conduct myself in a manner befitting a good and responsible officer. So as long to bring honor and prestige and service to the association. And I take this pledge without mental reservation or purpose of evasion. So help me God. Subscribe and sworn to be before this November 21, 2021 at Taichung Park, number 65, section 1, Sun Sea Road, North District, Taichung City, Taiwan. It was signed by the Federation of the Filipino Community Secretary General Mercedes Dacuan. Congratulations to sa inyong lahat. Group, group, group. Okay, sir, na agad. Itong martial arts. You know, this martial arts is not just a martial arts externally but internally. Dahil you have to have this kind of sinasabi discipline, self-discipline. When we say self-discipline, kasama yan ang self-control. Without self-control, you cannot discipline yourself. Kaya nga po dito sa martial arts, di ba? You have to follow your master, diba? So, the same with our life as a human being, we have to follow our, uh, the most highest master which is God, diba? So, how can we do that? How can we fulfill that? It is through our uh, self-respect and self-discipline. Kaya nga po, important sa martial arts, even though you know something, you still humble yourself, diba? Nag-practice kayo, how you will do those formations, how to make your physical self stronger, di ba? But yung self namin, nagiging ano tayo, nagkakaroon tayo ng skills, how to have the self-defense, di po ba? Pero this is skills and self-defense that we have, we don't use it to harm others. But we use it to discipline ourselves. Kaya nga po, pag the more na black belt ka, the more highest position ka, the most na ano, humble ka. Hindi po pwede maging boastful ka. 
The more na highest yung belt mo, the more na discipline ang sarili mo. What we have to discipline is our character. Alam niyo ba, very important yan, we have to discipline our character. How much people na i-ano tayo, i-attack tayo, but we will not fight back with them. Yun yung important yan sa discipline ng character ng parents. And second, you know what? Alam niyo kung ano? Are you aware? What other na kailangan nating discipline? Your sexual desire. You know, it's hard. It's hard. Especially sa mga married. Married my family. You know why? O if dapat ka pa, hindi nyo kasama ang family. We are together. 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 So important sa atin na we have the self-respect that we are committed already to our partner, which is our husband, which is our wife. So with this, when we respect ourselves, when we respect our partner, hindi natin ano, hindi tayo magkakaroon ng ganitong problem sa ibang opposite sex. You will see your ano your kasama as my brother, as my sister. When you have this kind of mentality, you know, you don't have this problem with sinasabi ng sexual problem, no? Which is our sexual part of the most Kaya nga private yan, kaya yun ang kapang natin. It cannot be seen, it cannot be touched ng others, only our husband, only our wife. Kasi yun ang pinakakoro part natin. Because that's where comes life. Diyan tayo nag-recreate eh. Nag-recreate tayo ng life with that sexual uh, part natin. Kasi yung sexual part natin, when we do, when we make love, it's, it's ano eh, involve ang sexual part natin. Eh, po ba? Only couples who love each other and respect each other, ang gagawa niya, they will create family, they will create children. Hindi po ba? Kaya malaking bagay po na alam dito sa martial arts, patutunan ninyo yung self-discipline. Alam ninyo kung ano yung position ninyo. Alam ninyo kung ano yung responsibility ninyo. Di ba? Kasi ano eh, for kinds of love lang ba? Ang ano, ang ano natin dito. Sa ano natin, sa life natin. Di ba? O ano, parental love. Ano yung susunod? Children's love, siblings, siblings love, and conjugal love. Pag sinabing parental love, relationship of parents and children. Diba children and parents? So, as the parent natin sila. So, we follow, diba? So, kailangan nandiyan yung disiplina natin. And then, we educate our children on how they will have the self-respect. Kasi pag na-educate natin yung anak natin ng gusto, They will apply that to their siblings, which is the siblings' love. Di ba? They will respect your ano eh. Kaya nga, di ba? Sa siblings' love, ano yan eh, horizontal. Yan yung sinasabing ano sa martial arts, may horizontal, di ba? Yung ano naman, yung circular. Ano yan eh, all kinds of love yan eh, na dapat mo i-apply. Yung linear, vertical yan, yung po ba? May mga ano yan ang martial arts. Siguro nagugulat tayo away ako sa martial arts. Uh, as you know, I joined the, ano, this organization when I was in college sa Manila, 1994. That's why I know uh, Master Venus. Also, I know Sir Ray. Kasi sa Manila pa kami magkakakilala before. Uh, so, kaya importante yung malaman natin yung discipline ng love sa, na meron tayo sa atin. Yung conjugal love is the most sensitive yan na relationship which is very important na makip natin yung ano natin yung relationship natin sa mga partner natin. Kasi the conjugal love it involves yung sexual love that we cannot share with our parents, we cannot share with our siblings, we cannot share with our children. It's just between husband and wife. Ginagawa lang yan ng husband and wife. So, 
malaking bagay dito na nandito kayo sa martial arts kasi marami kayong matututunan. Kaysa naman mag-visyo kayo or mag-ano, just ano na lang, uh, matuto na lang sa skills on how to develop your ability. Diba? Paano ninyo mapalakas yung ano ninyo, yung sarili ninyo. Kaya nga, we invite others to join sa martial arts para ano, ma-divert yung mind, yung mentality, para hindi ma-involve sa drugs. Hindi ma-involve ma ma sa ano. Kasi, di ba nabalitaan nyo yung may nagpakamatay na OFW dahil minsan depression, ang cause ng depression, minsan na-involve sa bisyo. Di ba? Minsan, sumali sa mga sabog, nagka-utak-utak, di ba? So, kaysa naman mapunta sa ibang bagay yung pera ninyo, better you join the training, matututok pa kayo. And then, in the future, you can teach your children, di ba? Importante yung matutunan ng ano. Kasi nagagamit talaga ang martial arts in case ng mga accident or ano. Kaya nga tinuturoan kayo ng lumipad para halimbawa may sinig dyan, makakalipad kayo eh, di ba? <laughs> Kasi ano yan eh? Kasi nangyayari talaga yan, di ba? Kaysa naman yung mag-ano ka lang, you have the fighting spirit, how to overcome. Di ba yun ang ano ng ano ng martial arts, kahit pagod na pagod ka na. Sige, pinapatraining ka pa. Minsan, nakipipil mo yung limitation ng physical self mo. But you have to overcome. Kasi in the future, yung pag-e-endure mo, yung pag-overcome mo, in case of calamity or anything, makakaano ka, makakasurvive ka. Not only in calamity na external, but internal. Diba? Kasi yung na-experience natin physical na pagod na ano, na ano natin, na-apply natin yan, halimbawa, pag nag-work ka, di ba? Na-apply mo yan pag may training ka sa martial arts, yung hirap mo. Nagagagamit mo yan sa trabaho. Kasi isipin mo, kailangan mo ng endurance. No pain, no gain, di ba? So, congratulations for being part of this Tong Ilmodo. Uh, Naka-ano kayo, naka-join kayo sa group na talagang makakatulong sa inyo. Not only external but internal hoping na ano maka-invite pa kayo ng others don't don't keep it by yourself you have to share the vision and mission of martial arts and then you can share it to your children kasi sa Philippines naman di ba meron din yung mga relatives ninyo you let them join contactin niyo lang si ano si Sir Benz may mga seminars din about family maraming ano diyan marami kayo ma-i-share as an OFW sa family din ninyo at saka sa ano ninyo sa communities. Kaya nga yung ano ninyo yung binabasa ko sa ako ko ay mabigat yung responsibility, hindi basta-basta. So alam natin na tayo pag nag-join tayo ng organization, nag-invest tayo. We don't think. We always give. Give, 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 give. Kasi ano eh, ano, meron tayong mga mission na dapat natin gawin sa buhay. Which is, we can share that to our children in the future. Yung legacy ninyo. Pag nabalik nyo ng Pilipinas, you can share to your children. Oh, I, I did like this when I was in Taiwan. Ganito, ganyan. Malaking testimony yan sa mga anak ninyo. Alam nyo yung legacy na sinasabi. Importante na may mag-iwan tayong legacy sa generation natin. Kaya kung yung mga position ninyo, you have to keep it and fulfill it. Kasi pagdating ng panahon, when your children mapunta uh, sila sa mga responsibilities, you can advise them also. Diba? Malay nyo, maging, maging politika din sila some, someday, di ba? But at least you can advise to your experience how to take care of others. Congratulations and this is a really beautiful thing. Thank you. Master Jeff Burden, without you, Master Jeff, will you please come in front and then magasi si Chairman and si Jeff. Ah, sandali lang. So, so mag-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a-a
with president Si Master Jeff po, malaki po yung pasalamat natin sa kanya, yung effort niya sa atin since last year na talagang ginampanan niya talaga ang tungkulin niya as chairman. So, we really appreciate your effort, Master Jeff, and then ikaw lang talaga ang naging advisor din namin ngayon. Instructors, ito po sila pinigyan namin kasi sila po ang nag-effort na mag-participate sa online. Online. Sir, Renny Boy P. Malabanan, pero may work siya. Then, the second is si Ma'am Sansan. Hello. Ma'am Sansan, nakapasok talaga siya sa final round. So, we give her a pick up close sa effort. Ito ang Taiwan Elimination Round Individual Form for Female. Sabi ko lang labas ibin. Puro nang mga ganun. Pero nakalabas ibin. Magka kanabit sila kita labas ibin. So, intermission. Okay, mag-intermission number na tayo. Ready na ka sila. Sino pa? Ano yan? Tiktok na? Oo, Tiktokers. Pangalan na yun. Ruel and Fermi Kaman. Welcome po natin ang mag-happy. Tama! Yay! Tiret! Tiret! President. Bukan nak apa sahaja, nak sahaja nak lantai mana? Ia nalar ngat saja isah sana. Oh malu. Ada kami tayar nanti. Enjoy lah nanti. Mas makan dah segoro. First option nanti terbahu, second option nanti kita. Kasi pemuda tayar di sini, para terbahu. Maka dah di sini matanggal dah terbahu. Berapa orang perih? Sana ada kami tayar. Ada kami yang makan dah guapo. Yan lang masabi ko. Masabi na lahat yun. Yan lang sana sabihin ko eh. Thank you so much, Madam MC, Sisi Saab, and then sa aming pinaka guest speaker na malayo pa ang pinanggalingan at talagang pumunta dito para lang sa atin. Thank you po sa inyo. And then to everyone, no, that a new set na naman tayo ng officers, so I request everyone na sana hindi tayo magpadala sa negativity. Diba? Kung may problema tayo about the group, pag-usapan natin na. Kung may comments tayo about me, about my chairman, anything about the instructor natin, pwede natin pag-usapan na. Kasi tayo lang din naman ang makakasos ng problema ng organization. Huwag natin sirain ang dignity natin as OFWPMD na sasali tayo sa ibang grupo tapos uh, maraming uh, kung sasali ka doon, makipag-join lang, doon lang. Tapos yung, yung sa atin naman dito, dito lang din yung sa atin. In respect na lang din sa each organization na walang masisira. So, since uh, gutom na, natapos natin itong uh, induction program natin na pinaka-importante sa ngayon. So, hindi ko na po patatagalin. Thank you so much to everyone for coming. And then, God bless us all. Thank you po, Lord, sa araw na to at magandang Kaganapan ngayon, naganap ng maayos ang kaganapan ngayon. Salamat sa lahat-lahat at safety naman kami 
Sana patnubayan niyo rin kami sa aming pag-uwi. Safe din pa ulit. Maraming maraming salamat po at congratulations sa lahat sa araw.